So you know those awesome sky replacements you see in those Sam Calder videos or in Andreas Hems videos. In this video I'm going to teach you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. But before we start, my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on Darktable and DaVinci. So if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let's go. You're the one I trust. Right, so I've got the clips over here that we need. So we need one video clip and we need a sky replacement. I've got two, but that's because I'm going to show you how to quickly do this. And I grabbed these skies from Luminar. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can find Luminar and there's a folder which houses all their sky replacements. So I'm going to drag this on my timeline and I want to make sure that we've got an eight second clip. So I'm going to cut off the rest. And now what we need to do is we need to drag this upwards to the second video track and we need to grab our sunset in this case, drag it beneath our video clip and make sure that it has the same length. Now let's select it and let's go to the color tab. And this is where the magic is going to happen. The first thing that I'd like you to do is to create an alpha node and you can do so by selecting it by clicking your right mouse button and then add alpha output. And then connect this blue line to this blue dot. And now we have an alpha output. And I'll show you in a minute why that's very important. Now what we need to do in order for us to reveal the layer beneath it is to create a mask. And I'm going to do that with the pen tool. Because the pen tool will allow me to draw on my video track. And in this case I'm just going to roughly draw around the horizon, around the edges. I'm going to do that till the end of this clip. And now that I'm at the other side, I'm just going to click around this clip and I'm going to select the first one. And now you see that we've got a mask created. But in this case, the sky of our original image is intact and not the rest. And I want to change that. So I'm going to invert this mask. And there you see, now we have the sky of our sky replacement and we still have our original video clip. Now let's say you don't really like this because you want to change it. Let's go back to the edit tab. Let's select the sunset. And now let's just zoom it in by 1.2. And I'm going to adjust the position a little bit to reveal the sun. There you go. So that already looks a lot better. So let's go back to the color tab. And now I want to soften this mask. But look what happens if I drag this all the way to the right. You see that it looks very, very weird. So we can't make the effect too strong but I do want it to be there a little. And there's two things you can do because you can also feather it by changing the inside value and you can also change it by changing the outside value. So in this case, I just want to change it a little bit, not too much. And the thing is, this is a moving clip. So that means that if I'm going to keep the mask where it is, it will look very, very weird because look what happens. Once I'm here, the horizon is already a lot further away. So that's not something that I want. So now I need to animate this mask because I need to make sure that this is traveling alongside the clip. So since we're at the starting point, I'm going to select some keyframes. We're going to add some keyframes. So right mouse button and add static keyframe. This is the position of the mask right now. Now please don't go through this entire clip frame by frame because that will take way too much time and it's just not worth your time unless you're doing something very specific and you've got a lot of time left. So the trick I want to teach you is to just go to the end of the clip then move the mask a little bit. Let's see how that looks on the other side. There you go. Now let's add a keyframe and we can also go to the middle of the clip. So around four seconds then dragging it down a little bit and now we're going to add some keyframes as well and if all goes well the mask should move alongside the clip there you go you see that it's keeping its place nice and tight maybe not over here but you can always adjust it on the go now let's go back to the edit tab and here we have our clip so this is the clip with the sky replacement added so now let's say you want to add a different sky. Does that mean you have to adjust the mask again? Well, no, because I'm going to show you how. Let's just remove this sky and let's grab our second sky and just drag beneath it. And I'm going to extend it. And now you see we've got this night sky, which looks very artistic. I would use it this way in this case. But if you've got a night shot and you're going to animate the uh, growth or the zoom effect of the night sky, maybe it can work. 
And if you don't like the halo, because this is obviously a night shot and this is a day shot, you can just go back to the color tab and then adjust the mask feathering and softness. And that, my friends, is how you easily change the sky in DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you like it. I would love for you to tag me in a video in which you use this effect. Make sure you put your Instagram in the comment section down below and I'll definitely go check it out. And that's it for this week. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button down there. But for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!